I will now demonstrate how to upsert a list of contacts into Salesforce and use the Related Objects feature to tie the contacts to their appropriate accounts. So I've already upserted my account records from my external source to Salesforce, and now I want to also upsert some contacts and tie those to the appropriate accounts. So I'm going to create a new data synchronization task. And this will again be an upsert operation. And for my source, I'm going to select another flat file this time. called contactdata.csv. And you can see in the preview of this file that there's a contact ID column and an account ID column. And you can see for the contact ID, every row has a unique value. For the account ID, um, the values are shared among several records. So my target this time is going to be my Salesforce contact object. And again, you can see I have no data here. And I'm going to skip over data filters. And just to show you, you can also do this. Um, you can click on the field mapping step if you just want to skip over data filters. It saves you a click. Um, all right, so my account ID has already mapped to the account ID field. Now, in the Salesforce contact object, this account ID is actually a foreign key for the object. So uh, it's going to be looking for a Salesforce generated account ID because that's how objects and records are related in Salesforce. So that is already mapped, but I can click this related objects button above my target fields. And this will show me any objects that are related to my target object. So. Uh, my target object is my contact object, and uh, there is a relationship with the contact object as master record, the account object, and the reports to contact object. So for the account object, I'm going to select from my external ID drop down here. Uh, this will show me a full list of any other external IDs that I have in the object. So I'll select the appropriate one and click OK. And now I'll map my remaining fields. Now again, remember this contact ID field at the top, that is the primary key. So again, the Salesforce generated um, ID. So I'll map contact ID to my external ID field on my contact object, and then I will map these remaining address fields. And phone number, and I will validate my mapping and save and run. Okay, my task has completed successfully with 15 rows. Now if I go back over to Salesforce and refresh my contacts list, I can see that 15 contacts were loaded and they are tied to the appropriate accounts. Now if I look at the account detail page, I can also hover over the contacts related list link up at the top and I'll see all of the um, three contacts associated and tied to the Tyco account.